and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I want to try to keep this intro as short as possible because it's currently about 90,000 degrees in my apartment and I'm standing in front of a gigantic ring light. Definitely not the best combination and I feel like I'm gonna die of heat exhaustion any second now, so long story short, my mental health has not been great recently. I know that a lot of people are definitely having some trouble coping with everything that's going on in the world right now and I honestly think that one of the main contributing factors for most people is social media. Obviously, social media is something that's really commonly used almost on a daily basis at this point, especially when it comes to people in my generation. And when there's so many negative things happening in the world, that's really all you can expect to see when you go on social media, and honestly, it's not great for the mental health. So I was talking to my boyfriend the other day, and he basically just suggested that I should try deleting all of my social medias for a week and see if it helps at all. So that's what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I actually already went through my social media folder on my phone and deleted all of the apps that I plan on not using for the week, but I did quickly want to go through and let you guys know what all of the apps were that I had in my folder before and what the three apps are that I decided to keep for the week and the reasons behind that. So before I went through and deleted everything, my social media folder on my phone consisted of Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook Messenger, Facebook, YouTube, YouTube Studio, Kick, because people definitely still use Kick, right? Um, Pinterest, TikTok, and Twitter. Now that I've gone through and deleted almost everything in that folder, it consists of Facebook Messenger, YouTube, and Pinterest. Facebook Messenger I'm keeping because I have it set up as the default messaging app on my phone, so that's literally how I text people. YouTube I'm keeping because that's what I use to listen to music or put on videos for background noise while I'm working on art, and Pinterest I'm keeping because that's what I use for inspiration for my art. So those are the three apps that I'm gonna be keeping. All of the rest are deleted for the week, and I'll try to keep you guys updated as much as possible for the video, but I'm gonna go for now because I'm gonna die of heat exhaustion if I don't, so I will see you guys whenever I get to update you. Four to six days later. All right, so obviously I've been slacking off a little bit on giving you guys updates because it's currently day five without social media and I haven't given you a single update. In my defense, there are a few good reasons for that. First of all, it's still like 90 degrees in our apartment and I don't want to stand in front of a ring light for any longer than I have to, so I've just kind of been avoiding it for as long as possible. And second of all, I've actually been doing things. Crazy idea, I know. But since COVID, I haven't really been able to get out of my apartment basically at all. And I guess I just chose the perfect time to get rid of all of my social medias because for the first time, Time in literal months I've actually been able to go out and do things and finally get out of my apartment. So allow me to just give you a little update on how everything's been going without social media and what I've been up to for these past five days. So day one was basically just a chill day for me. Honestly, I was just excited to not have social media smacking me in the face with politics and the state of the world for once in my life. So I basically just spent the day doing some art. I actually tried watercolors for the first time since probably early high school and it wasn't great. It wasn't terrible. It definitely wasn't my best work, but I had a lot of fun with it. I'll insert a picture of the painting that I did up here and I actually just now realized that it's gonna match the shirt that I'm wearing. I didn't even do that on purpose, but this is one of the shirts that I made in one of my previous videos when I did a bunch of tie-dyeing and it's gonna match the watercolor painting that I did because I just like sunflowers. So yeah, that's basically all I did on day one, but day two and three are the days where I actually got to do some exciting things and get out of my apartment for the first time in months. On day two, I drove down to my parents' house in my hometown and I got to go swimming. I reunited with my cousin who I haven't seen in what seems like forever. My cousin and I unintentionally saved a kitten. That wasn't part of the plan, but it just kind of happened that way. Look at you. Oh, the big stretch. Look how freaking cute you are. 
Hi friend! I actually filmed that entire day and it was so much fun, so if you're interested in watching that video, I'll leave the link down in the description. But that leads me into day three, which I also spent in my hometown. Sadie and I basically just ended up spending the night at my parents' house, and the next day was actually Father's Day, so Sadie went home to spend some time with her dad. And originally the plan was for me to go fishing with my dad, but it was way too hot outside and my dad did not want to be sitting out in the sun to go fishing, so it basically just ended up being another pool day. So obviously I had a lot going on for days two and three, which made them definitely the easiest days when it came to not being on social media because I wasn't even thinking about it at all. But that brings us into day four, which was probably the least eventful day so far. Although I did have my first dentist appointment since COVID-19 started, which just seems weird because I'm so used to everything being closed. But aside from that dentist appointment, I basically just spent the rest of the day editing the vlog from the previous couple of days that I just told you about. And let me tell you, that was kind of absolute torture because for some reason Adobe Premiere Pro feels the need to update itself before the update is ready and then crashes every two seconds and loses my progress. Luckily there is an autosave folder so I was usually able to get most of my progress back but there were a couple times that I lost a few hours of progress and let me tell you that is devastating. So yeah, aside from my editing program trying to destroy my life, Day four was pretty uneventful, and that brings us to the present, which is day five. Let me tell you right now, day five has already been quite the day. I started all of this on a Friday, which makes today a Tuesday, and I was planning on uploading a video today, but obviously that's kind of difficult to do when you don't have any social media to post or promote. So originally my plan was just to re-download all of my social medias for a few minutes, log back into them for my boyfriend, and then have him post and promote Tuesday's YouTube video, but unfortunately that did not go as smoothly as planned. I tried to re-download all of my social medias, but for some reason my Google Play Store kept crashing and wouldn't work and just wouldn't even start any downloads, but I really needed my social medias in order to have my boyfriend promote my video because otherwise I will get a solid two views, which is not a fun time. So eventually I ended up figuring out a way to download them from a third party website, which is probably a terrible idea, and I probably downloaded about 12,000 viruses onto my phone, but it's totally fine. My Google Play Store already doesn't work, so I need a new phone anyways. So eventually I got all of my social medias re-downloaded from this third party website that's probably not safe at all, and then I made the realization that I don't remember a single one of my passwords. So I've spent the past couple of hours trying to regain access to all of my social media accounts so that my boyfriend can promote my video for me. And let me tell you, it's basically impossible because I don't remember what my favorite flavor of jelly bean was in fifth grade when I answered these security questions. So yeah, as you can tell, today has been a great day so far. Although, on the bright side, it really has been the only day that I've even really thought about social media, so I guess this is going pretty well. I only have about two days left anyways, so I don't really expect anything super significant to happen. I feel like these last two days will be just as easy, if not easier, than the first five were. I'll probably just end up giving you guys one final update on Thursday, which will be the last day of my week without social media, and then in theory this video will be up on Friday, so I'll see you guys on Thursday for the final update. Two days later. Alright, it's finally day seven of my seven days without social media, so I'm back to give you guys a final update. It is still 90,000 degrees in my apartment, and I can honestly say that probably Probably the most difficult part of this video was standing in front of this giant ring light to give you guys updates. When it comes to not being on social media, I think that was actually pretty easy. There were just a few annoying times where I guess I just didn't really realize how many things I use social media for. So for example, I might be trying to tell someone a story and want to reference a picture from Instagram or show someone a post that I saw on Facebook and I'll go to reach for my phone and then realize that I can't do that because I don't have any of my social medias. Obviously it wasn't that big of a deal and I always ended up being able to finish my story or do whatever I was trying to do without referencing social media, but I guess it was just one of those things that I never really noticed that I did until I didn't have social media to do it. So aside from that, it's honestly been a really great week. I am excited to have my social medias back, but I definitely haven't missed them all that much while they were gone. Another thing that I noticed is that in some ways 
things, it actually made YouTube more fun. I absolutely love making videos for you guys and posting them on YouTube, but anyone who has a YouTube channel probably knows that it's way too easy to get caught up in the numbers. I definitely have a tendency to focus way too much on how many people are watching my videos and how many people are subscribing and whether or not those numbers are going up instead of just filming videos and having a good time with it. But that was definitely not the case for this week. I filmed a super fun pool vlog with my cousin. I tried out my GoPro underwater for the first time and that video went up on Tuesday. It is currently Thursday and I still have absolutely no clue how many views that video has. Normally right after I post a video I'm just obsessively refreshing the YouTube studio page to see how many views I'm gaining per minute, per hour, or whatever it happens to be. And then I would start to get stressed if I wasn't getting exactly the amount of views that I was expecting to get. So honestly it's just nice to not be worrying about things like that. So yeah honestly I think this was a really good experience for me and maybe you should try it yourself if you're ever feeling like you're fed up with social media and just need a break from it all, you can always just try deleting it for a week and see if that helps. But I think that's it for this video, so if you guys liked it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below to become a Toridactyl, and leave me a comment letting me know what I should do for future videos. As always, I'll leave the links to my social medias in the description below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!